So what we're going to do in this screencast is we're going to look at uncaught exceptions and how we can uh, log any uncaught exceptions in our shipping applications with the Flurry Analytics service so that the details of those um, exceptions are sent up to Flurry and we can view them in their online uh, web interface uh, and find out uh, where our application is crashing once it's out in, uh, in production. So what I've got here is I've got a very basic, simple uh, window-based application, which I just created with uh, create a new project window-based application. I didn't use a view-based application for this screencast because all we're going to be doing at this point is adding our uncaught exception handler in the app delegate, um, which is where you would add this in a real-world project. And we're not actually going to have any view controllers in this project because it's just to demonstrate this one feature. So I created a window-based application, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to implement an, a, a C function, um, which is going to be our uncaught exception handler. So I've declared a C function here. Um, it's called uncaught exception handler, but the name doesn't uh, matter. It can be whatever you want it to be called. It takes one parameter, which is an NS exception, which is going to be passed from the system uh, whenever an exception is uh, occurs and is uncaught and get, gets passed into this method here. Um, we're also going to have to register this with the system. So I'm going to make a, a call in my application did finish launching with options method. I'm going to call the NS set uncaught exception handler function. This is a uh, frame foundation framework uh, function and it's going to register our uncaught exception handler function with the system uh, and, and whenever there is an uncaught exception that code is going to get executed. Now at this point we're only using foundation, we haven't imported any libraries, um, and this is all going to run uh, and work um, without any kind of analytics or, or error logging library at all. Uh, you know, for example, we could just log out the details of the exception here, um, but that's not going to be much use to us because um, that NS log statement is only ever going to go to the user's console log on their device, and we can't see that. So what we want to do is we want to bring in the Flurry Analytics library, and we want to call the log error uh, method that we mentioned in the blog post that accompanies this screencast. So the first thing we need to do is actually bring in the library. Now, I've got the library already downloaded here. You can download the library from flurry.com, uh, log in, create an application within their um, interface on the web, and you'll be prompted to download the library, uh, the SDK, from them. I've already done that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this into our, our project. So I've now got the Flurry library inside our project. We've got a couple of header files, and we've got the library itself. So to use that library, first thing we've got to remember to do is include the Flurry API header file. Otherwise, it's not going to know any of the uh, classes or methods uh, inside that library. The next thing to do is to call a method called start session on the Flurry API class. Now, this is going to set up your Flurry session, and with this, you can do analytics if you want to, um, but what we're going to use it for, for is logging these errors. So you'll be given an API key by Flurry, and you should replace uh, that string there with your API key. Um, and then when the application starts up, it's going to send a message to the Flurry API um, and say, you know, this is this um, this application is now ready to report analytics and potentially errors as well. The last thing we need to do is we need to just uh, log the error with the Flurry API whenever an error happens. So in our uncaught exception handler, I'm going to call log error colon message colon exception, and I'm going to pass the details of that exception up to the Flurry API. So the three parameters for this are, first of all, just a string to um, identify the exception. The message, um, I'm actually going to take the name of the exception um, out and pass that up as the message because that's some quite useful uh, information that comes through in that. And then finally, the full exception details uh, also get passed over to Flurry. And really, that's all we have to do. Um, we've started our Flurry API session. 
we've whenever there is an uncaught exception which is registered with this ns set ex uncaught exception handler method um, whenever there is an uncaught exception we're going to send a message to flurry and we're going to say there was an exception here uh, just before the application crashes so that we can actually um, get the details of that in our uh, in our web interface and that's about it <laughs>